quasi-crystal sculpture moves from the first to second floor in the administration building at Denmark's Technical University. The construction is a donation to the university from Coast, Center of Art, Science and Technology. The essence of Coast is to combine technical and scientific innovations with artistic creations and these elements are represented in this new construction. The sculpture is elaborated by the work of the American artist Tony Robin in cooperation with the Danish professor and engineer Eric Reitzel. Tony Robin began his work with quasi-crystals by generating three-dimensional computer images. Every quasi-crystal is different from another and the pattern they make is non-repeating in three-dimensional space. This rotating ball has a quasi-crystal interior. It appears to be quite random without any kind of organization. But there are ways to turn it, so it seems to be made out of two-fold symmetry three-fold symmetry and five-fold symmetry. That is to say that there are ways to turn it so it seems to be made out of squares and cubes. And ways to turn the very same object so it seems to be made of five-pointed stars and pentagons and where it appears to be triangles. Every quasi-crystal is made out of only two elements a thin cube and a fat cube. All faces on the cubes are identical so they fit together in every possible way. These mathematical principles are the foundation for the quasi-crystal sculpture. Because of the structure's complexity, Tony Robin made this plastic model first. It has four bigger parts, all named after their visual appearance. On the top is the large scale section and below that the spiral pinwheel. In the middle comes the snake, and in the end, the dome. The actual construction is 14 meters long, 6 meters wide, and it weighs about 1 ton. All in all, it has 12,000 parts in it, consisting of aluminium nodes and rods, and coloured plexiglass. Nodes and rods are glued together. They are stored in smaller parts to be able to fit through doors, although this isn't always a success. The coloured glass and mirrored glass help not only to stabilise the construction, but they also have artistic purposes. It expresses the sculpture itself better and light, sunlight or spotlight will make the glass reflect colours on the floor and on the walls. When you explore the sculpture from different angles, you are able to find the geometric figures, the five-pointed stars, the triangles, the squares, and the cubes. And as you take just one step more, you will find a total inner chaos. If the sun shines, you're able to find reflections on the wall and on the floor. And as the sun moves, the reflections will change. The administration hall at Denmark's Technical University is a very open room. 
an ideal setting because the stairs and hallways make it possible to walk around the sculpture and to explore it from below as well as above. The quasi-crystal sculpture shows us that art, science and technology put together can create striking artistic work filled with scientific elements.